Welcome back to the channel. Today I have to show you why you need two teeth freaking iron and a little bit longer one as a set. So if you already done some leather craft and you already know some basics, you might know this already, but just in case, I would just want to um, pinpoint this so that everybody am aware of this and um, get to the point that why you need a freaking iron as this that type of form. So if you have already noticed, uh, all this fork type looking tools are called pricking iron or stitching iron doesn't the name doesn't really matter uh, it always comes with a two two prong and a little bit longer ones and there is a reason for this uh, because two teeth pricking iron two prongs or you also say is uh, needed to do this curved line yeah and the straight line is much easier and much more efficient to do with the longer ones yeah so uh, this is quite common uh, pricking iron this is two and six set and this is um, more European style this is two and ten teeth and usually teeth goes around 11 teeth or 12 teeth uh, there are also ones with the 20 teeth and those require some of the um, higher heating higher heating power uh, with the hammer so that it goes into the hole uh, if you want to penetrate all the way through it requires a lot of force because it's longer so the energy goes into a lot of area than small space so that's something that you need to think about uh, I think having two prong six prong and ten prong is a really good set because there are there are sometimes uh, there's a reason why you need um, smaller prong as well so in this video I'm going to quickly cover up uh, all the details so here I have a piece of leather that I want to stitch yeah, I have a curve I have a straight line and first you need to mark your guideline so using divider uh, any brand will work so just make any type of distance you know from the edge of the leather make the guidelines where you want to prick the leather okay so this will be your guidelines okay so uh, you will you need to do a mark the hole Either you penetrate the hole completely or you just mark the hole, it depends on you. And this video will just focus on why you need uh, this type of uh, two pricking iron and how to use them. So uh, if, you're, if you have a larger, I mean a higher number of teeth, it's more efficient to do this in a one go. So for example, if this is 10 teeth, so I can go one shot and I can cover this much of area. Yeah? So I'll just I will not hit anything here just because I have to explain stuff. So uh, let's assume that I am hitting uh one at a time. Okay. So I will hit. Yeah. And then when I do the next line, in order to keep the same distance, I am taking one hole together with me, or sometimes you can go with a two hole. So over overlapping two hole at a time. Okay, so you are not basically going six and six. You're going six, five, five. Do you know what I mean? So uh, one hole will overlap. Okay, so that you you keep keep the same distance. That's the idea of of the stitching. So in case I normally do it with the two two teeth together, so overlapping two teeth together, I'm making four extra holes. Okay, like this. Okay. And as I come to this far, now it starts to curve line a little bit. So then I will take three holes together with me, and then I will hit it again. Okay. So now the, the curve starts. If I really keep insisting using this pricking iron, it wouldn't make sense because now curves start to form, but then I have only really long straight lines. So if I use it like this, I will have straight lines, not the curve. Do you know what I mean? If I use it, I'll make straight lines, okay? So, in this case, you're using this two pricking iron, connecting these two dots very shortly, but also taking one hole at a time, but you are overlapping one hole. So, you're making one extra hole, covering the previous hole, so you're making really nice curve, because you have a two, pr two prong you're making a nice curved holes like this okay so you are making one hole at a time overlapping one hole 
that you just previously made and that's really how you do this curved stitching so this is how you're done you keep doing it until the end uh, this doesn't matter if you have a Japanese style or European style uh, the same logic uh, goes together with the uh, European style as well you take two and then just just keep going at, at a time so the reason why you need um, six prong yeah the, then also not just having longer teeth is really good because you can cover the large area is if you have a strip I will just demonstrate into a very quick demonstration so I'll just uh, make a cut like this okay if you are if you have a strip like this and you're trying to make a cross stitch along this side if you have a six prong what you can do is you can just hit it with a hammer one blow will create not short, short distance stitching line like this I hope so just don't worry you hit it yeah and I'm not hitting just just to show you so you can just make one hole and one hit and then you make the cross stitching but if you have two um, two big stitching iron now you have to sacrifice the integrity of the of this ladder because you might overlap your stitching by making the extra hole that is too close so if I show you what I mean is just because I want to avoid avoid this one teeth pricking the leather now I made a hole too close to the border of the leather if I punch it punch this pricking iron I may just leave the cut alongside the edge of the leather and that brings really not good looking and also the structure of the leather uh, will be compromised so if you have only 2 and 10 teeth pricking iron uh, you may have to go with a 2 teeth pricking iron to make this shortcuts but then I found it very, very difficult to do this uh, especially when you do this kind of around the, the loop of the, the ladder or any short distance it might doesn't um, look as straight as you would do it with a one shot with a six uh, teeth pricking iron uh, two teeth pricking iron always tends to move around a little bit in an angle and it's difficult to do the really straight line yeah so unless I know because some makers only makes two and ten teeth and that's their only option but if you have budget if you can afford six prong also uh, put that in the in the card also as well uh, it comes in handy when you make small leather goes especially if you make a uh, zipper a uh, zipper puller also if it's a small item and you need to do only the six stitching or very small distance uh, straight line stitching uh, your six prong comes in really handy I mean three or four or five prong also I mean short but also straight line stitching is also required you need a little bit of a middle of between two and ten teeth you need uh, six teeth also as well so uh, it's your choice I mean if you can manage it with a two teeth pricking iron that's that's really nice I mean I've seen really good guys making uh, pricking iron holes with only two teeth pricking irons uh, but that's because they have a lot of curves they, they only use it almost all the curves and the straight lines they manage to do it really well but it's it's really them I I also happen to um, try to go go by <laughs> with a uh, two pricking as pricking iron as well when I started leathercraft uh, nine years ago no it was I think 11 years ago now because I started in 2009 and that time pricking iron was really expensive and I didn't have uh, not so much option back then so I bought only two teeth pricking iron, uh, Blanchard pricking iron and I just wanted to use it very well but then <laughs> it didn't uh, work that out uh, like that because it was so difficult to do this a very neat stitching line with a two pricking iron uh, because it was really Maybe I wasn't that good back then. Until, of course, now I am not so good either. But of course, when I started, 
I wasn't really that not that good, so uh, I I couldn't really manage to to use it with a uh, uh, two teeth. But then now maybe I can try again. Uh, it could be an interesting thing to do if I can do it now or uh, better if I've improved uh, or not. But then, anyways, yeah. So this is how you use it. That's why you need uh, two prong and six prong and ten prong. So just think, guys, you just started leathercraft, and you might wonder, can I just buy this long one, or this really long one, or should I buy this one first, or things like that. This is your answer. Hopefully, this um, helped your um, leathercraft journey. Yeah. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe. I have lots of how to videos and tool review videos coming up. And I hope uh, you you like this video. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys as always. I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.